from King Mog and some tips for Yen Sasansi. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, do this real quick. So what I'm focusing on through King Mog, as you can see, I've gotten all of the I got the equipment. Um, I can't wait to try out that cloak because Zargabath is gonna have draw attacks along with, you know, provoke with Gollum, make him a full provoke tank. Should be really interesting. Um, Spirit Fighter and Spirit Magician. So these definitely look really neat. Um, it helps out that the boss is a fairy. So the killer on this counts. Now the killer on each of these is 20%. So if you put all four of them on a unit, it's going to be an 80% boost. And uh, with it being an 80% boost, along with 40% from raw attack or raw magic, that's going to give you 120 bonus as if you had four 30% uh, materia. So for a lot of newer players, that could be easier to get a hold of than, you know, having to find 40, uh, four 30 attack ones. So that's something that I would definitely do because it's very strong, uh, very inexpensive. Uh, dual cast, I'm going to buy dual cast right now. So that's what I think of it. <laughs> I've already got one from farming Ludmil. And so I, um, I've got another one now, so that's fantastic. The summon tickets are a must get. We got some four star guarantee tickets on here right now and uh, rare tickets as well. So definitely, definitely make these your priority because that's part of what we're playing the game for. Uh, so the guarantee tickets are going to take you a total of 20,000 flowers, which actually is not that bad. And then the rare summon tickets you've got are going to be a little bit higher. Um, I'm not going to do the math right now because I can't remember how many I started with. But um, with everything that's going on in the game and with the multipliers, you should be able to put together a decent amount of flowers. So definitely get the summon tickets. Uh, the Trust Moogles are last on my list because they're really expensive for the most part. Um, and if you don't have that character then they don't have any use for you. So uh, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, Machine Killer is pretty cool. Uh, getting that for Edgar would be nice, but I don't know, that's still gonna be last on my list. Uh, the 30,000 flower trust Moogle for 10% is still a great buy. So I definitely would get that. The 10,000 1% trust Moogles are still not a great buy. So that would be, that would be one of the last things that I would recommend doing. Uh, metal Gigantars, I would get them if you need to level up a unit, but we just came off of the raid, so you might have a lot of raid coins still stashed away, so you'd be able to just raid summon a lot of, of our metal friends and level things up. The mini burst pots, I would not get those because they are very expensive for what they do. Um, items, tents, you know, get those as you need them. I always get the scream roots and I always get the fine alchrists uh, just so I can make more keys. And the star quartz are always a great buy as well. Um, after that, it's really just going to depend on your preference. Uh, awakening materials are always nice to get a hold of, but we also have the story event going through for Christ's. So I don't, I wouldn't necessarily buy any Chris during this first week when you could just run through the story event and take care of business there. And so that's what I've got going on as far as buying from King Mog. And so the next thing that I want to talk about is the event itself so let's hop on over and we're just gonna run it now um, as you can see I put some tips on the side just to give you some things that I've learned from others and learned from uh, you know having to go through it myself the biggest thing that I was curious about was whether legendary was gonna be worth it and so what I found is that the math dictates that legendary does not give you that big of a difference versus elite. So for me, I'm just going to farm elite until the last day, and then I will run legendary to get the lapis rewards, but I'm not going to stay there. Um, I have some friends of mine, they are playing legendary because they have been getting luckier as far as bonus units. So that's been really, really good. And so that's multiplied how many flowers they've been getting. Um, I haven't had so much luck, so I'm not gonna keep playing it. And everything hits really, really hard. So 
my advice is to play the difficulty where you can one shot things because if you're using a lot of bonus units and they're not leveled up everything hits way too hard and it could easily one shot you so be very careful with that um, Noctis I'm using right now he can solo the event the way you would do it is you would just flask everything um, I recommend fire flask but you could also use Thunder Flask, I guess, and you would get extra damage on the second one because of the debuff. Uh, but Fire Flask seems to do the job well. And then the last boss, you'll just want to use Warp Strike. Warp Strike, And when you use Warp Strike, you'll just deal significantly more damage on the second one. So if you're using me off of my friends list, that would be the rotation. And with Warp Strike, I would cast Warp Strike first. Then after that, I would chain everybody off of the second Warp Strike just to improve its damage. Um, however, he's he's uh, he's been one to survive by himself before, so I know that the second Warp Strike will kill the boss without any issues. But I just like doing that just to stay in practice. So let me know how the event is treating you down in the comment section below this happened just in time because my wife's calling and so i appreciate you any tips that you've got for me let me know down in the comment section below as well and so until next time this is lee van dam and i hope you guys take care god bless and i hope you get a lot of flowers see ya